Hello everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play. It's going to be just me this time. I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy IX. Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorite Final Fantasies. In fact, I think it shares the title with one other that I may play at some point. Um, I find it so much more engaging and beautiful than um, 7 and 8. 7 and 8 had so much technology and then um, 9 really returned to its roots. It helps that 9 was actually the second Final Fantasy that I ever played. And in fact, the one that I consider my favorite was the first Final Fantasy that I ever played. But I'll leave that a secret for now. Um, some of the things I like about this game are the, um, the plot. When it's good, I consider it very good. Some of the scenes that it covers just really... I found them deep and meaningful, and I even as a kid, I connected to them. Um... To explain, I am going to be playing this on an emulator. I, ha I have the disc right here next to me, but I can't figure out a good way to export a um, video signal from my old PlayStation, which is on its last legs anyway. So I am going to be playing off some copies of the disc that I made. Um, if you notice any odd slowdowns or skips, I've done everything in my power to fix that, but apparently this game is one of the hardest games to run on an emulator. At least, according to the form that I've checked. Hmm. So, I have actually played a couple of tricks. I may share those with you, I may not. If anyone does want to know how I got this to run, feel free to ask. I don't have any problem sharing privately. Without further ado, let's get this game started. Of course, we're going to be starting a new game. And this is... Honestly, one of my favorite opening sequences in any game, not just the videos, but just the playthrough up until the plot really gets going. I feel the way that it introduces the characters and the way that the imagery of it works so well. It just... I, I can't keep gushing or else we're never going to get started, are we? So, here we go. The tragedy of this opening right here doesn't reveal itself until much later in the game. But even without context, I find it to be very, very powerful. first character introduced. This is Princess Garnet. She is the Princess of Alexandria. We're about to get a nice shot of Alexandria Castle, and then of the city as a whole. I tell you guys, if I could live in any place ever, this would definitely make the list of... Something so beautiful, and just, there's so much depth to the world, and it just feels so ancient, but... Significant, I guess, is the best word. I don't know. I'm gushing again. And here we have our first shot of an airship. When I was a kid, I remember playing this, and it was just... I played a few games. This was one of the first games I actually had for the PlayStation, and it just... It really overwhelmed me just what you could do I mean back in back when I was playing that I didn't know you could do this with a computer um, before that I'd played a couple of computer games I played Myst um, I played stuff on the SNES but this is entirely different okay so we're about to get control <sighs> sure is dark you could say that again um, we're about to name this character. I'll leave him unnamed for the moment. Guess nobody's here yet. Ah, uh, no. This is our first room. We're in control now. Can't go up the stairs. Doors won't open. There are a couple of small items I want to grab here. I actually have most of this opening memorized from playing it so much as a kid. 
I can remember, um, I got a copy of Final Fantasy VII. And about halfway through, I got bored with it, and I ended up putting away Final Fantasy VII so I could play Nine again. Who's there? Okay, this is the Dane. It's gonna be a while before we understand why he has a tail. Um, uh, it's me, the Dane. Here we go, Blank, Marcus, and Cinna. God, the, uh, three musketeers have really let themselves go, huh? Hey, Zidane, you sure are late. Sorry, so where's the boss? Ain't here yet. Oh, God! The dragon-headed ghost of J.R.R. Tolkien. Here to kill us for ruining high fantasy. Okay, now we have our first battle. It's interesting because all four of these characters pretty much have the same template as Zidane. Ooh, a little bit of slowdown there. Oh, but it goes away real quick. I found that the best way to handle this fight is to have everyone do one attack. Oh. We have no idea who this masked man is yet, but we'll find out soon. Okay, and then we just have Cinna hit him again. Cinna is the weakest character by far. In fact, I've had battles where this masked man has killed Cinna in the first hit. Of course, and sometimes he'll just screw up and do something like that. And now we just all spam steal until we get everything that this guy has on. If it says couldn't steal anything, that means he still has items that we haven't acquired. This, he actually has three items that we're going to want to get. Oh. Most of these characters should be able to just plow through anything that he does. He's not especially strong. Here we go, we got the wrist. That's the second item we wanted. If we don't get anything in the next couple of steals, I may have Cinna give him another tap. The uh, less health that a character ha that an enemy has, the more likely that you'll steal from them. So, there we go, we got the Mage Mash. That is an important item, and I'll explain why very soon. Okay, now we can just keep attacking until he surrenders. There we go. And we have our nice character. This is Baku, leader of Tantalus, which is the sea skill that was riding that airship we saw earlier. Now that he's tested our merit in battle, we can get down to business. Ooh, ooh. Hey, fools. You're looking a lot better. Gwahaha. <laughs> All right, let's start this meeting already. Another thing I love about this game is the music. Just, I don't know, there's just such tenseness and anticipation in this. It goes so well. <sighs> Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infinite band of daring thieves, that's us, is headed to the kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission to kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnet. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria, and when it does, we're gonna put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, cause you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course the real kidnappers will be blank into the Dane. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. I can't stand, Oglops. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. <laughs> we have two options here. I'm gonna do the fake one first. That's when I capture Queen Brane, right? You bet we're gonna capture that fat-ass butt-ugly queen. No, wait, that ain't right. Okay, that's when I can kidnap Princess Garnet, right? You bet we're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnet. Another beautiful scene, and we have our third main character introduced, or at least our third playable character. <sighs> My heart really goes out to this little guy. He'll, we'll figure out his name soon enough, but for now, just know that he's just a small guy in a big world. And another beautiful shot of the airship. <sighs> This brings back so many memories. <laughs> I 
And we have our title screen. Hmm. Here we go. Whoop. Alexandria. Are you all white? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye bye. Okay, now we're going to be in control of this character. For now, I'm just going to refer to him as the Black Mage. As you can see, we have no idea of his name yet. We will name him very, very soon. Hmm, do I have any equipment I can play with? Hmm, is this a good time to get into this? Yes, it is. The game will explain this to us in a bit, but to, ex but to cover the basics. To learn new skills in Final Fantasy IX, you equip different equipments. As you can see, this staff here will teach us fire. You can see the little 25 in the bottom right. That means that we need to collect 25 AP to um, unlock the ability in this equipment. As long as we have it attached, we don't have to worry. We can just cast fire. And see, the leather hat is actually teaching us fire as well. Um, because we have two items that are teaching the same ability, it will learn it twice as quick. Um, but if I were to take off both of these items, then I wouldn't be able to cast fire unless I'd mastered it by battling enough to fill that gauge. Do I have anything else I can equip? Probably not. Ooh, I have a wrist. Hmm. No, I think I'll leave that off. I don't think I'm actually going to get... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so... Yeah. Because we're not going to be... We can't... He can't learn... This character, the Black Mage, can't learn anything from that skill yet. Let's see, does he have any passives yet? Hmm. Nope, his passive list is completely empty. Alright. Once we get a few more pieces of equipment, this will become much easier. Okay, so let's control our little black mage. We're gonna explore the town a bit. Hmm. I forget, how does one toggle? There is a run in this game, and I can't... Wait, wait, oh, no, 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 it's in the config. Right, 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 right. Movement, always run. Field message, speed that up. And we'll hit battle speed up to fast. But it's in wait mode. That should work out well. Um, no. And memory? Where is... Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. Controller is on memory. And where, there was one other thing I wanted to change. Window color. Classic. There we go. I feel much better about this now. Now we can get down to work. There we go. We're much faster now. We have some characters to talk to. Nikolai. Nobles always come to Alexandria to see the annual performance. Oh, look at this well-to-do, bushily-faced rat man. Noble lord. Why, you're no city child. You aren't a noble child, either. Dot, dot, dot. And some kind of a bird lady. Noble lady. Oh, these street urchins are simply dreadful. And here we have some lady guards with no pants on. Hello, lady guard. Alexandrian soldier. Kids shouldn't leave the city by themselves, you know. This gate leads outside. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, little fella. I saw the nobles first! Up, up, up. I saw the nobles first! Okay. Hey, what's this? Anytime that this icon comes up, it means that there's something that we can look at. Heroine statue. This statue was built to commemorate General Madeleine, who fought the Ninth Lind Lindblum War in 1389. At the tender age of 13, General Madeleine fought against the Lindblum army with only nine soldiers under her command. She died in 1401, well before her time. <sighs> How old would that make her? That would make her... She died at 20... 35. Okay. 
There are a couple of items hidden around here. There we go, here's one. A zombie card! Okay, the card game... I'm not gonna get into that just yet. The game will be more than happy to explain that to us very soon. But I think there was one other item way up. A Sahagin card. I think that's all that's here. Oh, no, no, no. A lizard man card. Okay. And just in case... But there's something hidden behind the statue here. Oh. Here we go. And we got a potion. I do apologize. I'm going to be talking to everyone. I want to document every little bit of this game if I'm going to be doing an LP of it. I just love that this game that much. Um, we can go in here. And honestly, I ha like I said, I have most of this memorized. Oh, now I gotta make a pattern for, uh, this, uh, voice for this little guy. Hmm. This pattern makes me feel dizzy. <laughs> oh, I love him. He really is just... just yes. Oh. Ooh, just a little longer. Darling, I'm home. I'm not done with Lillian's dress yet. Come back later. <laughs> Every year, it's always the same. You're spoiling them grandkids, I see. <laughs> oh, little guy, you can't do that. We just stole from the elderly. Oh, that's one of those things that'll take you straight to hell. And a potion. You took her potion? It's probably for her joints. Oh, what's this? Up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, guess we can go off. Ooh, another card. You almost got enough for a deck. You need five cards to play. But like I said, we'll get into that in just a moment. I'm sorry, Granny. Can I give her back her nine? Oh. <sighs> okay, we're just gonna feel bad about that. Or we're gonna pretend it didn't happen. Anything? Oh, ow, ow! What? Little rat face rat kid. Why, you get out of my way. Bitch. Well, that's it for today. Time to get ready for the play. Hmm. Oh! There's a lot of hidden items in this beginning section. I think that's it for this section. Can I talk? Yay! I can talk to the little ones running around. Oh! Honorable nobles of Trino, Castle Alexandria is this way. It's a penguin with a trumpet. And a little hippo. Oh, look at you, little hippo. Anything else? I think it's a little... Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh. Ooh, more money. <sighs> really want to give them back to that old lady. Kind of feel like we did something wrong there. And a goblet. We got five cards. Hey, little fella, what's your name? Hippo. Wow, noble is our shirt. Oh, I gotta get a derby. Wow, Noble sure are so spiffy. <laughs> and that is the fattest pigeon I've ever seen. How does that thing even fly? Go we can go in the tavern. No, little black mage, you're too young for that. Maggie, I gotta go back to work. And this very stylish gentleman. Male red mage, I don't know why I'm s why I'm depressed. I have a ticket to see a great show. I should be happy. But he's in here drinking. Anything over here? Ooh! A potion. And we got a... Uh... That guy looks oddly familiar. Ashley. Well, sure be busy tonight. But it'll be also be the last time we'll be so busy. Ever? A flan card. Anything else? Anything else? Anything hidden? Up, up. What's this over here? Up, up. Four, 27 gill on the floor. Ooh. Hmm. Mick. Wow, how'd you get a ticket for the show? You better head straight to the ticket booth in the square. You have to get your ticket stamp there before you can enter the castle. That's over that way. Anything over here? Hmm, what kind of shop is this? Look at all these bits and bobs and... 
More money? Oh, I mean, how are we doing for money? 654. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Sir? Doug. Honk, honk. Good afternoon. Oh, and he's selling stuff. What can we get? We can get a potion. We get plenty of those. We get... Uh, let's get an extra phoenix down. And it don't... I think we can buy those more later. Yeah, yeah. And we can't afford a tent. But we have one already. Let's see what we got for items, actually. Got that mage masher. Um, if you press select... Isn't it? Or start? One of these... Oh, nope, that didn't work. I am trying... There we go! You can get a little mug to tell you how to... Uh, oh, see, so this weapon has silence on it. Ah, oh, this works out really good. There we go. And I can keep that up if I want to, but I don't. Go away. What did that timer say? Wow, 18 minutes already. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna just have one little bit of dialogue, and then I'm gonna end this episode. Peek? Oh, do we really want to do this? Yeah, we can do this. Peek into the ticket booths. Oh, he sure is a grumpy-looking ge uh, gentleman. The ticket master, eh? Can I help you, son? Pointy hat boy. Um, um... Show ticket. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. <laughs> no! No, no, don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? Goblin card, fang card, and a skeleton card. Oh, yeah, well, that's great, you know. I just can't go to this play, and you're gonna give me some fucking trading cards. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn about those cards. Good luck, lad. <sighs> well, that's a good plot to stop, guys. So, I'll be seeing you very soon, I'm sure. I am gonna try to get a nice little backlog of these before I start uploading them, though, so... Hmm, it might be about a week before this goes up. Anyway, I hope I see you guys soon. Bye!